Hey folks, uh, I did not see this coming. The IDR waiver is back on. So this is pretty surprising to me. I did not s expect this because the April 30th deadline came and went, and then we didn't waiver. The IDR waiver is back on. So again, IDR waiver is back on. I did not see this coming. This is really surprising. Essentially, the Biden administration just decided to just like randomly reimpose the IDR waiver uh, until June 30th. So yay. Uh, if you already consolidated during the early May time frame, that means all the IDR waiver stuff that was supposed to happen in April uh, is going to happen to you too, which is great. Also, if you miss the IDR waiver, this also means that you have additional time to get the IDR waiver. So that's also a wonderful thing. Um, I sure as heck wish that they would uh, make these decisions ahead of time instead of after the fact. But we just saw it on the Federal Student Aid website that the IDR waiver is officially back on. Uh, and so, again, what does that mean? June 30th is now the expiration date. Now, that's helpful because a lot of people need to get on the pay as you earn program before pay expires June 30th. So that lines up. And then the uh, the July 1 date for the SAVE plan, the 5% of income rule going into effect July 1, that also lines up. So, I mean, this date makes a lot of sense. But at the same time, it's uh, it's kind of rather shocking that they decided to sort of make it clear that the IDR waiver is back, on, back in business uh, two weeks after it was supposed to expire. This is the first time we've seen the evidence on studentaid.gov. So what does this mean? It means there's just more time to get benefits of the IDR waiver that we were previously thinking uh, wasn't wasn't around or wasn't wasn't available. So uh, this is great news. Uh, you know, again, if you're just joining us, the IDR waiver got reinstated until the end of June, and then the IDR waiver account adjustment is expected to be finished supposedly by the beginning of September. But what we see with Department of Ed is they frequently don't meet their guidelines that they promised. And so I would not be surprised at all if they extended that IDR waiver again from June 30th to like, you know, into the early voting period, frankly, right? Like that's probably what's going to happen is we're going to see a large amount of forgiveness stuff be announced right around the election. Um, and, you know, it's probably smart politics. So I think that you, you might even see the IDR waiver get extended yet again uh, just because they've already extended it a gazillion times. What's another extension, right? Because it just gives them more time to get more people forgiven, and that's a policy goal the administration has. So really surprising, but great news that the IDR waiver is back on. And if you have any questions about the IDR waiver being back on, uh, put them in the comments. And thanks for following Student Loan Planner.